Hello everybody, Rebecca here with you from Mama's Treasures. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a pre-recorded sale that I'm going to be offering today. I have quite a few lots put together of crafting supplies. For those of you that don't know, I have a second channel called I Am Mama 24 and it is dedicated to my crafting hobby. Since um, about last September, it has definitely been put on the back burner because of my love for vintage and us buying the estate home. And I've been focusing more on that and growing our Mama's Treasures business and YouTube channel. So I want to get some of my craft room cleared out so that I can dedicate it more to like a shipping space than a crafting space. I'm getting rid of some of my supplies, so that is what I'm going to be offering you today. Um, I'm going to be doing it the same way that I run my live sales in that my payment is through PayPal and also my invoicing is through PayPal. Shipping is on top of the price that I'm going to give you for each lot. I ship from Saskatchewan, Canada. So please use the email in the description to get a hold of me if you haven't purchased with Jason and I before at Mama's Treasures. And let me know what your PayPal email is, also your YouTube username and your real name and mailing address so that I can get you a proper shipping quote. And once you get your invoice, I ask that you pay promptly. It's Canadian dollars because I am in Canada and I use Canada Post for my shipping method. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what I'm calling the junk journal lot. That's what you're looking at right now. It is packed in a huge box, but I will unbox it and show you what I have put into this box. So first of all, there is this really old book. This actually came out of the estate home that we emptied out. Um, it's an unused notebook and it's black. Um, it looks leather, but it's paper bound side and pull stuff out. Then I've got a whole package of, I think they're CD envelopes. I've put some coin envelopes into a package here. There's probably about 50. I've got some large paper bags. These are number 12s. I don't know if that means anything, but they are bigger than a lunch bag and uh, they're brown. Then I've got some ledger papers that I tore from books. These are awesome to use for junk journaling. This I think is actually from a gun registry um, book. Not certain, but I think that's what it was. Then there's these ledger papers. There's uh, two different types and colors here. These were... Um, pulled from a book and they are double-sided as well. Some graph paper. Um, this is, it's folded here, but it is um, quite a bit pulled from a pad. And this is also folded as well. This is that awesome green ledger paper. And more paper bags. This is uh, uh, they're smaller than the previous ones that I showed you, and they've got like Christmas sayings on them. There are some napkins, these purple ones here with the bird and the teacup. And then these are um, outdated 2019 monthly planners. They are unused. But uh, yeah, they got the plastic covering on them. I think these are probably from the Dollar Tree. More napkins. There's these uh, espresso ones. These are more cocktail size. And then these ones here with the Paris theme. Whole stack of those. Those are great for decoupage. There is this game here called A Like and Not A Like. So I think it's like a, a match game. Um, where you point out the differences between the pictures and the instructions come with it. It looks brand new. So there is that in the box. Some envelopes. There is uh, just some 
um, pre-stickied envelopes in there. There's these envelopes with the pretty flowers on them. Wow, there is a lot in here. Um, uh, these large tags, I think these were pulled from a K and Company tag book, but they're quite large. And there are some coffee sleeves. Some more coin envelopes. These are different and a little bit smaller. There are some craft um, how-to cards and some old maid cards. Also some Chinese coin envelopes. And this is a foam stamp. More playing cards. These are, um, I'm not sure if it's from Go Fish, but it's like a Bible, a bite from a Bible Go Fish. And uh, these are also from a Bible game. And then I've got this. Now, this is brand new, unused from 1998. But it is for uh, the Franklin Covey um, refill for the day planner. And it is from 2000. And it's got all the tabs here. It's brand new, unused from the from 2000. So there is that huge junk journaling lot. So I'm asking $25 for this lot. And it is number one. And again, that is before shipping. So if you're interested and you want to claim a lot, all you have to do is be the first to comment with the lot number in the comment section below and you will be invoiced with what you are interested in. My next lot that I have here is a lot of stamps and dies. I have not used quite a few of these. Some of them have been used they are from all different brands and all different years. I am just needing to clear out some of my craft stash. So this lot is $30 and it is number two if you wanna claim it in the comment section. And I will just quickly go through all of the stamps and dies here. There's this one, brand new stamps and dies. Trinity stamps, coffee themed stamp set. Another brand new stamp set by Impression, Impression Obsession. This one by Hampton Art. This one I've definitely used. Inka Dinka Do, this Catitude stamp set. This one is brand new, unused. Tonic Studios. That's a layering stamp set. There's this one by Your Neck Stamp. I have used this one. This one is brand new. It comes with the die that cuts out the little... Um, I don't know what you call that. It's like a, a little greenhouse, a terrarium or something. Uh, this one here by Neat and Tangled. Always had intentions of making a card with this. Never got around to it. This one here, um, brand new. This one here, brand new. Bow Bunny, another one that I never used. This one I did use, and actually I have my colored images that I copic colored in there, so I'm just gonna um, send that along. There's this one, it's like a little fairy house in a tree stump. This one for mixed media, really great stamp set. And this one by Spellbinders, it is a, a foam mounted red rubber st a stamp. And then there's some dies. So there's this one with a squirrel by Simon Says Stamp. This one, um, it, it, it's an outline die, so um, it's for the stamp set Sweet Birthday, but I do, don't have the stamp set. And this one also is an outline die by Ink on 3. Um, this one here makes a little Santa Claus. I've got some of the pieces cut out there so that you can see how you can put him together. And there's this one here by Penny Black. New, never used. This one here, um, a big R by My Sentiments Exactly. 
That one is used. This one is brand new. I just thought it was so cute and I picked it up. I never got around to using it. This one here by Kaiser Craft. It's like a background stamp. And this one, it's um, by Impression Obsession. It's the Peeking Penguin. And you can make him like peek over a card base or something. And his little fins are separate. Uh, this one here by Impression Obsession. Cute little one by Ollie's. This one here, I don't think I ever got around to using that one either. This is by Unity Stamp. Uh, Christmas one. I definitely used this one. Uh, this one by Dovecraft. And lastly, there's this cute little acrylic set by Close to My Heart. Um, it's yellowed, but it still works perfectly fine and clings to your block perfectly. So again, for that lot is $30 and it is number two. Next, I've got a mixed craft lot. There's just a whole bunch of different crafting supplies in this box that uh, you can use for paper crafting or all other sorts of crafting. First of all, there are these two chipboard albums. This one is by Recollections. It's in the shape of a wedding cake and it does come with a little ring. And this one is by Bow Bunny. It's an edgy album, so the chipboard is staggered with different, um, different shapes on the side of them and this is where you bind the album it's a really pretty one that's how it looks when it's uh how you can make it just a sampling um these florals are by petaloo they're kind of velvet um glitter deco tape by express it there are some mermaid sticky gems some fabric flowers and trim. There is some used out of here. There's two of these little rolled fabric flowers. Some leather trim. That would be great for binding a journal. Uh, I think there's two of these. It's in the box here somewhere, but um, these are like little silver paper clips. Some trim here. It looks like I may have used a little bit out of here. There is a, a big pumpkin sticker, I guess it is, and some gems. It's quite hard, this one. It's a great embellishment by Jolie's. Some cute little flower pots. Could put them in a collage. There is a tag set by American Crafts to make some Christmas tags, um, everything you need to make some tags in there. A couple of little fairy wands, some wooden clothespins, they're brand new in the package. There is a foam stamp, strawberries. Another stamp, this one is a tiger lily, looks brand new. Uh, there is that other clothespins. There's these Jolie's goblets. Again, they're almost like, like resin, but they are stickers. Halloween goblets. Some jelly bean soup little favor bags, brand new. Some embellishments. These are stars. They're just plastic. They look metal, but they are just plastic. Some resin starfish charms. There is like a swirl punch, paper punch, some googly eyes. I made these um, with my button machine maker and some designer paper. Um, and I packaged them up. Uh, yeah, so you get a little bit of a craftiness from me in this box. Um, some adhesive magnet. There is a brand new package of 6x6 six six papers. There's 24 sheets in here. This is Pastel Dreams by Altenew. Some little cross charms. These are plastic. Another paper punch. Little feet. A couple more items in here. Some more googly eyes. And some more of the fabric flowers. This time in pink. I don't think they're all in there. Maybe they are. I'm not sure. And two little um, 
foam stamps again, or they're not like foam, but they're rubber. Um, Hello Kitty and Pretty in Pink. This is a snowflake embosser. So you stick the paper in there and you pinch it and then the snowflake will become embossed on your paper. Um, that is the embellishment lot. For all of that, I'm asking $20 and it is number three to claim the lot in the comments. And again, that's before shipping. Next, I have a sewing and trim lot is what I'm calling it. It's $20 for this lot and it is item number four. In this lot, you will get this baggie of plastic trims. I actually use trim like this to um, embellish my daughter's uh, grad slippers a couple of years ago. Um, and then there is also this cute little beaded trim with like the clear fishing wire in it. So there's a whole bunch of different kinds of that trim. And then there is this box. Now this is actually from We Are Memory Keepers. Yeah, there we go. Stitch Happy. And inside the box came this. And it is brand new, unopened. All of these little sewing accessories. And you will get it just like this. But then I've added all of these sewing bits. So there's a big bag of buttons. All different kinds in here. Different shapes, materials. Just grabbed out of my button bin and I put them into a baggie. And then there's some script letters. I believe this is a J. There's two gold ones in there. These badges. So there is this Australia one. Um, <clears throat> it looks like they were celebrating 200 years. Uh, brand new. Um, some more little badges. This says specially fashioned by Joan. There's a few tags in there. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe sunglasses. It's a little like a little puffy patch. Um, again, the same type of puffy patch. This is a purple dinosaur. More Australia badges. This one is the kangaroo. This one is two ampersands. Who remembers Woco? Those are definitely vintage. This one here says happy birthday, Sean. Uh, there was this badge in a baggie that I got at one point. I don't know what it is or represents. Didn't ever look it up. There is this one. I believe this is Israel. So there's that one. And then there's some carded buttons. Three different, no, three of the same. In this Countess one, they're kind of blue. And then there's these Lady Fashion, tiny little uh, pearlescent kind of white buttons. So that is the sewing kit, what I'm calling it. And that one again is $20 plus shipping. And claim number for that one is four. Next up, I have a fabric paint lot. I'm asking $5 for all of these fabric paints. I did open a couple of them to see, just to make sure that they weren't dried out. And uh, they are Oops, yeah, they are juicy. So there is a set of the Tulips Metallics. White, black, a pink, a blue, a purple, and a yellow. And then also these scribbles. And when I bought them, they were on clearance already. Um, you can use these to decorate fabrics. And I have also seen people paint them on squishies when they, when they make their own uh, squishies. So all of these fabric paints for $5 and it's item number five. This is a mixed media lot. There's a whole bunch of mediums in here. I will go through them quickly. This lot I'm asking $30 for and it is item number six. Um, first of all, I've got, I think I grabbed 20 of these plastic droppers. They're awesome for putting water into a product or something. Just really handy to have in your craft room, especially for mixed media. And I've got these brand new unopened Nouveau embellishment mousses. There is cornflower blue and this one is spring green. 
really pretty together those would be so yeah they're they're unopened they still have their foil seal on them I think there was another little yes I have another little nouveau embellishment mousse this one is like a silver again still sealed okay so those are the embellishment mousses I have one of the Jane Davenport's velvet pastels this is um, matte gel pastel it's noble red she kind of packaged her items to look like um, makeup so that's kind of cool there's that one um, I have Deco Art Glamour Dust in gold and crystal. I used this one on a mixed media canvas I made for my granddaughter, but there is still oodles and oodles of glitter in there. And this one I don't think I used at all. This one is a Frank Garcia and Prima from Memory Hard Hardware. This is black artisan powder. So I'm not going to open it because it could definitely make a stainy mess. Um, you use this kind of like to mix your own paints and uh, you can put it on your projects. Um, there is this purple spray and I have used it. I used it to dye a doily and it is a very bright royal purple. You can see it there. It's beautiful. No shine on that one. It's just just the purple color. I have this Deco Art Media Texture Sand Paste. Um, and I did use this on a project as well. It's still very, very usable and lots in there. This is uh, Dream Weaver Metallic Copper Embossing Paste. Um, great to use through a stencil. What is this? Um, acrylic paint and it's like a glittery green. This is by Recollections. I have two. Um, a texture medium and a gloss medium. These are great to use on um, altered canvases or if you are sticking things to um, like say a wood base or something the gloss medium works as a glue it, it, it works really well and then I have five new unused art sprays these are by mixed media and they actually have like the ball in there to help you mix up your paint they're sprays but they're like acrylic spray paint so there is the color, now let me see here. This one is aquamarine, black, cocoa, tangerine, and lastly, gold. All right, so again, that is the mixed media lot, $30 and item number six. So I'm also getting rid of this jewelry making tray. Well, that's what I used it for. Um, it's by Creative Options. It's kind of like a binder. So you open it. Yeah, the beadboard folder. So the only tool that you're gonna get with it is this flat nose plier. Um, but it has these great compartments to store your jewelry tools and then this zippered pouch down here as well. It has two boards. So there is this one, which did not come with it. The blue one came with, but there is this one. So you could, um, use it on your workstation like this. So your beads aren't hopping all over the place and, uh, you can make your jewelry on the board line up your beads how you'd want them in your project so you can just slip them in and out like that this is going to be five dollars and it is item number seven lastly I have what I'm calling an enamel pin lot these are from crafting companies um, and these are going to be $10 and item number eight. There is some Brutus Monroe. This is like a balloon animal doggy. 
so you can see they're they're, they're expensive so ten dollars is a really great deal for these uh, this is another brutus monroe this is the birdhouse um, this one is by Simon Says Stamp, a beautiful purple enamel butterfly. It has two um, pins on the back of it. This one is by The Grey Muse, and it says Excellence Award for Sending Happy Mail. And it also has two closures on it. And this one here, really cute, The Grey Muse. This is an enamel pin that says dream create and inspire it's a pink bottle of paint and it also has two closures on it now these aren't pins these are actually magnets they're by the gray muse you can see they're sticking to each other <laughs> really kind of neat uh, that but they are enamel in um, black and white with gold accents craft all the things so there's two of those in the set one two three four five six seven of them for ten dollars item number eight so if there's anything that you saw here that you would like to claim please use the item numbers in the comment section down below and first comment gets uh first dibs and please remember to email me with your information if you haven't done so already Thank you so much for watching everybody and stay tuned for more pre-recorded craft de-stash videos in the future. Bye-bye everybody.